In this challenge, I want to learn basics of data analytics in our studio using just chat GPT and no other resources. Let's see if we succeed. It's our day four of challenge to learn data analytics is R with just the help of chat GPT. And it worked very smoothly, it worked almost perfect. Uh, so far, the only problem was we could not put the average horsepower on the top of histogram uh, for miles per gallon. So please check previous videos. Uh, we use data set which is called empty cars, which is built in in our studio so you don't have to find your own data set. And we learned how to get descriptive statistics, how to get information about the variables in the previous days. So please check also previous days. And we plotted quite complicated scatter plots and histograms. And today in day four, let's talk about correlations, right? Correlations are very popular and important way to analyze the data. So let's ask ChatGPT to write the code for correlations for our MT cars data set. Please write an R code to obtain correlations in MT cars data set. And this one is quite simple, of course, right? It's like a basic R. So let's copy this code. Uh, and again, yeah, if you just join us, you will need to use MT cars uh, to load this data. But if you are already having this code, you can remove it, uh, data empty cars because we already loaded in our memory. So let's try to plot it here. And we got correlations, right? So we have correlations. But of course, they are not very beautiful, right? Like it's quite long list of correlations, right? We have like about 11 variables. So we want to beautify it somehow. So let's ask ChatGPT to visualize it. Uh, please uh, write a code to visualize correlations in empty cars dataset. Again, in principle, it's not always necessary to provide details because ChatGPT remembers our conversation, right? And it's all stored. Aha, uh -huh. so core plot, of, of course, for those people who work a lot in our studio, you know, core plot is very nice for this kind of visualizations. Uh, but uh, this code will not run actually because you need to install uh, core plot. So I will ask ChatGPT now to um, make this code reproducible. Please update the code uh, to check uh, library core plot, right? The library here is core plot if it's installed and if, if not, uh, please install it because without installation it will not work. So install it if it is not available. So again, some of these uh, little things uh, kind of maybe obvious for ChatGPT but not obvious for us if you just learn our studio from scratch. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, so if, yeah, perfect. So this if require, that's a fantastic way, very quick way to check to make a code reproducible, right? If you share it with your colleagues, uh, it should work on their machine, right? If they don't have core plot library installed, it will not run. So let's copy this code. So that's very smart of ChatGPT to check after our request if the package is installed. Of course, you can make it shorter, right? You don't have to write this like long explanation, right? And I don't need empty cars, I just remove it. But let's check the code, right? So first piece of the code will check if core plot is installed. If not, it will install it. Remember that in our studio you have to install a package once, but you need to load it using command library, right, every time, right? And what this line of code does, it will check if it's installed. If not, it will install it. But if it's installed, it will just load it, right? So this library core plot, is, it's always needed. So let's highlight this uh, piece of code. And let's plot correlations. Again, I highlighted the use control enter. Wow, and it's actually quite good, right? So you see that my uh, correlations are quite clear here, right? So on the main diagonal correlation is one uh, because it's with the same, right? And you see that here you also have red line stands for negative correlation, dark blue stands for positive correlation, right? And for each of the variables, you can add you can see how strong is the correlation, right, between those variables. Okay, this is like very good. Let's try something more advanced, because I know that core plot, it's a very advanced package for correlations. Uh, so let's first of all thank our chat GPT 
thank you it was good can you add to the core plot also the correlation coefficients right because visualizations are nice but uh, let's say i want to see on my core plot also the values also the values of correlation coefficients so let's see if it's an update in my code so i will copy that and i'll go to my r studio so let's see if it does what i want it to do so of course now i don't need this uh second time to check if uh you know a package is installed because we've done it already so it's just a new yeah well maybe not perfect but if you enlarge it right it's actually not bad right so in principle if you want to have correlate values of the correlation coefficients uh it looks better however we can do even better uh, so let's ask chat gpt now to update uh, these core plot uh, please uh, update core plot to have just circles under the main diagonal and values of correlations above the main diagonal so I, I don't know if it will do it because instructions are quite complicated however it provides updated code so let's see if it works and let's see if it works and of course if you worked with uh, core plot you know it's like a very complicated package it has so many different options and of course uh, you know uh, finding an answer may be time consuming but with chat gpt uh, let's see if it works so i'll use Control enter and actually didn't do yeah so you see like there are always some limits to the option right of chat gpt and uh, it actually did not do what we asked it. but that's okay again we, we need to understand what are the limits right of uh, the chat gpt and you know sometimes it fails but in 90 percent of cases it actually works very well let's try something different let's ask chat gpt to limit please a return to simple core plot without values of correlations but only include those variables which have correlation more than 50 percent in absolute value with mpg because you know often when you work with a data set you may have like hundreds of different variables right and or features as they call it or covariates and of course uh, you don't really want to have all of them you want to have like the most relevant right uh, of course if you use more advanced methods like machine learning you, you can try to use everything but if, if you just start to learn your new data set you may want to limit yourself you know like to things which are only uh, you know significant right uh, which are highly correlated so let me see if my plot is core plot is updated so once again i don't need this uh, first part i just need the updated diagram and you see i think miles per gallon here are limited to 50 percent or more of the correlation and indeed if i concentrate only on mpg right so we ask to keep only those which are having a correlation of at least 50 percent and i think it actually did it right because you see all of these are uh, quite highly correlated so and we have roughly 11 variables but uh, like here we, we have included nine right so it dropped two of the variables which are not having a correlation of 50 percent or more in absolute value so it's actually fantastic right so chat gpt did a perfect job here and we limited our sample so thank you and see you tomorrow in the next day of our challenge